Welcome back to my Hero Wars Let's Play. Mm, didn't get Cleaver today. I don't think I will very soon, but... Hey, it'd be really cool to open up on this uh, video, and then you'll be level 1 forever, because uh, I'm not going to actually invest in Cleaver, but... You guys would probably like find it fun to open him up, right? Awesome, we won our clash. We got promoted to a higher tier. Like, I was actually right recording my video yesterday, like, so I didn't have one for Saturday this week because something happened, like, the recording, like, got froze, like, halfway through. It was, like, only had, like, 14 minutes. I'm like, well, nothing too, like, significant happened in that video, so I'm like, well, just scrap it. It happens, like, stuff happens, like, it's not the end of the world. Need the hand of glory. Mm-hmm. Things. No throwing knives today. Grab that too, because we'll need a bunch of those. All right, let's see. There's that stuff for the Hand of Glory. Hand of Glory. Since we'll need so many of those things. Uh, we got invites to... Oh, cool. We can do this. Let's do our uh, arena fights real quick. There's actually two of them that are open, both for number 11, so. See, let's join this real quickly so somebody else doesn't jump in, but like I said, we got seven minutes to my arena time, so we really just got to get those out of the way. Nice. We're still 41. Like I said, we're not dropping that much anymore, so we're just doing really well here. Then we'll look at our... Uh, Season stuff in a second. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Celeste died. Okay, Maya's still alive. Lots of pure damage going on. Alright, we might be able to win this with Maya, just because from pure damage, but we'll see. I don't know, we might be in trouble without Celeste, so we'll see. Gosh, and Faceless just keeps pushing Aurora back, which is really... Really not helping us keep that teapot down. So it's allowing Martha to get more healing in. We're gonna time out. I can already tell. Yeah. Now, without Celeste, we got screwed. Like, we, this is why uh, axles are now new priority, because we need. Well, look, Maya damage there. Because we really need uh, to protect Celeste against one shots. Well, here's one we should be able to beat pretty easily. Let's see, let's put the uh, here. Oh, it's lost Celeste, though. So we need to be able to protect her against one-shots. Maybe we can just Rainbow Halo our way to, to victory, though? Because that, that can happen. Rainbow Halo damage. <laughs> Rainbow Halo kills Dorian. Speed this, this is gonna take a minute. Let's see. Come on, rainbow halo damage. Okay, I think we'll actually get it. There you go. Booyah! Rainbow halo, guys. Rainbow halo is such a good ability. Okay, we can we can beat him. Maybe.
Awesome, mode to surrender is up. Shoot, we saw Celeste though. No. <laughs> Dang it. That was uh, some randomness. We almost got it. It's always gonna be. Ooh, you know what? We might be able to get this one. They're high. They're high power though. Uh, maybe not. Actually, Kayla would probably destroy us. Like we might. Like actually, not that. Not that power difference. Hundred k power. Probably not. Oh, here we go. This is only four hundred k power. We can try this one. Ah, wrong scene. Let's see. Uh, da -da. Like I was thinking, maybe, no, I, do we want chorus? Maybe we do want chorus. Let's try chorus. Let's try chorus. Not really gonna need the, do the dodge because it's all magic damage. Like, there's not really. I mean, the only thing we're gonna be dodged is Nebula, so. Oh, and Arachne died before she got old or anything, so. We don't have to worry about the stuns. So maybe Kane would have been better, but, you know, there was no predicting that uh, Rackney was gonna die that quick. Okay. Shoot. Bye-bye. Okay, Celeste is down, so now it should be relatively straightforward to finish this out. It's gonna take a minute, though. So okay. Alright, there you go. So we're running out of time. We only have like two minutes left for our arena time, so we really just kind of gotta get going here. Ooh, 21. So we got one more fight. We could try Evie Vox. We've beaten her before. King Papishlev. We'll try him. We we can beat him. I know we can. Alright, let's go. Nice, got some dodge rolls. Oh no, shoot, and then Celeste died that time. Yeah, now Jew's just gonna be invincible and grind out a win. If only Celeste didn't die. Like I said, Celeste counters Jew. He she can prevent him from uh, surviving, like from like he, from the healing to self heal he does at the end of his uh, ult. Uh, Celeste causes damage, cancels it, makes Celeste very effective versus Jew. All right, but arena cutoff time is probably happening right now while I'm doing this fight, so we'll look at that in a second. Look at our season rewards, then we'll go do our adventure. didn't quite get to Grand Arena fast enough, but we got 121 in Arena, which is not bad. So let's go do this stuff real quick. And we'll look at our season rewards. Oh, 
finish out our quest for the um, what you call it, the foundations of power. All right. Okay, let's do it. I don't need magic defense buffs, so we'll see if this uh, how this goes. Uh oh, we saw Celeste and Sebastian. Okay, well, it's just Aurora now. Which means she's gonna start doing a lot of rainbow halo damage. Like I said, this is why you need the magic defense buff, but they didn't leave me one. Like Sue said, magic defense buff helps a lot on the people attacking the boss. That's why if you do a middle round, never take the magic defense buffs. We got 12 points, so we can probably finish off with the second attack. See if we can you see who took it. We you know who took it. It doesn't tell you anymore. It used to tell you who took the buffs. Yeah, it used to tell you who took the buffs there. Oh, there you go. Yep, he took a magic. Look at that. He did metal, but he took a magic defense, which is not ideal. You should never take it in middle unless you really, really, really need it. Because having having the first people attacking the boss can help them a lot. Especially on the lower level, when you're lower level, it increases the chance of the boss being killed if you leave those boss from the people attacking the boss.
We're at the point where Ragni starts doing the bonus damage on her old, so that this will be over quickly now. There you go. Mm. Nice. All right, boss is dead. You get to claim three boxes. Flawless moonstone, because we still need the stuff like that on this account, so that's actually good. Mm. All right, let's look at this stuff here. I've not even looked at these yet. Message in guild chat. Or hero skin, fine. Two levels there. Boom, boom, boom. Damage guild dungeon. We gotta finish. We actually have guild dungeon. We gotta do the guild dungeon for the Titanite today anyway, right? So. See, let's do our. What's have we done Helios today? Probably, probably. What are we looking at? Is Aurora close to anything? We've got this one here. Let's just do a couple on here. There we go. Okay, let's do the tower. Maybe we'll get those throwing knives for the Bastion needs. Nice, we need those. Nice. Three knives. Genius. Nice. The kid the hex. Didn't get that though. Gosh, didn't get that. Nope. No throwing knives. It started off good, but then it just, the items disappeared halfway through. Sad. Sad. Ooh, nice glyphs. We got some of these silver boxes or platinum boxes. Ooh, energy. I like energy. We just need like a bunch of knives. Like it's got to be a while on him, so we're kind of moving towards other heroes here. Like we'll, we'll probably just focus on the, this one here for Aurora. Let's get that up because that's a lot of magic damage. This will take some time. Then we'll go back to, we'll get this one here, and then we'll go back to Celeste here. I said this is going to be a second on her, because we need so many of those stupid things. And then we need another one right here, so. And then more of those. We need so many of those Lamort card fragments. Nope, don't want to put that on Maya. But she, oh, she needs the same stupid thing. Yeah, nope, not doing that either. All right, so let's do look at this stuff. Let's look at the other quests we got. Finish those because we gotta do dungeon. We might have to do some extra dungeon fights today because we need to get to like four twenty. If possible, we might not be able to though. Let's see, guild dungeon heroes. We have two more days on that one, so that's fine. We'll get it. Let's see. Fifteen more chaos cores, then we'll be able to uh, take uh, Sebastian's book, Taps the Star, which will be another nice boost in uh, physical attack form. And we can probably open some of these here. Nice, got some more chaos cores. Because we're getting pretty close on Sebastian here. Like, it's just 12 more cores and that will absolutely start. Like, once, like I said, it's only, it's only level 38, so it doesn't show a big attack increase right here. But once you max out, like, it's a couple thousand attacks, so it adds up. Um, 
Sebastian, he's stuff 46 per- 56%, so get him that 60% will definitely help. Max out these skins will help. Uh, gift to the elements. Oh, wow, we don't have any gifts to the elements. I have a solution to that, though. We just have to do some Titan stuff. We're not done Gliss today. We were doing Maya's armor. Try to give her maybe a bit more survivability. You got to stop on this one. Nice. 508 more armor. Because her armor sucks. So let's give her a tiny bit more survivability. Let's see what else do we need to do? Hero skills. Lars. Do energy here. Let's try to get the, this. So, because we need a bunch of these things too. It's the other reason we're doing this. So, it's a nice double dip. We need those. So, it's one of those. It's one. Of, that's one of those nodes that's like good value for like a long time. Because you're pretty much triple dipping on that one. We all like to triple dip. All right, so let's go. See, there's that 250. We need to do our daily uh, level up on uh, this one now. Just do that, then reset. Gets us back to 250 to do for tomorrow. Got to get those 300 potions for 7,000 gold, right? All right, and then the spheres. So I hear we're going to have like an uh, um, artifact event uh, later this week. That's what I hear. So that'll be a good time to open some, uh, spend some emeralds. Okay. Yeah, not that I'm too impressed by. So let's see. We got to go look at our scene here. How many? I thought one with the wrong quest tab. Energy. Oh, we might want to spend that energy. So we gotta get 400 Titanites. Let's spend that energy though. 100 energy? Easy. There you go. An extra 1500 Titan skin stones. Alright, so let's go to the dungeon. So we got, this will get us to 750. So now we need 250 more Titanite. So we wanted to fight these ones manual. And just auto speed up combat. It's like I said, if we just do the Titan Knight with the Fates and then do the Hero Fights normal, like we should be able to get it as so long as the, my Titans survive. We might have to do some of the other ones manual as well. But with just Water Titans, we can do those nodes to auto, no problem. Like I said, we don't have any totems for fire or grass, so it doesn't really matter if you lose the front lines too much. Like I said, as long as we got the super times alive, we should be fine on those ones. Like, and we can always use the all elements trick to try to keep them alive, but we will take the water every time because water is a guaranteed win. Let's do this. I don't want to try it having to heal Morlock. He's not strong enough. Oh, we could put a patron on Thea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice water. Yep, we can still put that patron on Thea if I ever remember. There you go.
We should look at Axel. We're really close to evolving him to blue plus two, so we should definitely look at our pets for the day, which we have not done yet. We'll do after the dungeon. Mm-hmm. I'll take that one. Ooh, I guess buy a Morlock. Mm -hmm. My supers get healing from the all elements fight, so it's good. Yeah, I know getting that, all that Titanite, like I said, it's a nice boost in uh, Titan Skin Stones. Like, it's not, like, game-changing, but it is, it is, like I said, it does help, especially when we have, like, new Titan quests coming up, like, on the weekend. Or we'll have, like I said, have to level, like, 40 Titan Skins or whatever. We'll want those Skin Stones for that, and it'll be an opportunity to level up my Water Titans. It'll give me more, like, the more I have, the more I can put it into the Water Titans I actually want Skin Stones in, rather than a bunch of, like, random Titans I'm probably not going to use as much. Okay. 300. So we just need 100 more Titanites, so two more uh, levels. Or tiers, or whatever they call it. Or five, or four more tiers if you can count up five at a time. But every, like, ten, it's ten for every, like, uh, save point, so. Keep them all alive. All right, save points. So that means we just need uh, 40 more. So we have 10 cards left. So we'll just claim fates the rest of the way. Don't need to play it out anymore. We can just claim fates the rest of the way. We've already reached our uh, bonus for the day, so no point in keeping going long. We just want the t the extra skin stones for our tans. And we're going to get that. And we only had one Titan die today, too, so that's pretty cool. But there you go, 420. Getting closer to the next reward, too. Booyah, look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Puts us like 37,000 skin stones, tiny skin stones. Also get some more potions here. This, we'll get this one tomorrow. And let's do this one. Then we'll go look at our pets. I think we actually want to do this one. That looks better. Okay. <laughs> wow, Galahad, you did 1200 damage. Congratulations.
All right, let's hope for something uh, good for Arachnomaya team here. Arachne and Thea just keep him stunned and silence locked. That's pretty much what we're hoping for here. Oh my gosh. Clutch, 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 clutch. Oh my gosh, clutch. Oh my gosh. No. Dean, it's well, we're probably gonna time out here. We're probably gonna lose here. Yeah, no, it's just gonna time out. Almost had it, almost had it. More powerful Mara patron, we win this fight. Or if we had like a Merlin, possibly Merlin on uh, Thea there, she'd be silencing more often. It was a good attempt, but we didn't clutch it out. Me Meguaki said, these are all like uh, Japanese, it says uh, Nihongo. It's a uh, Japanese language. So a lot of them have Japanese names. I know some Japanese. It's one of those languages I've tried to learn on my own a few times. I mean, I know, I probably know a couple thousand Japanese words, but might not be able to the best at reading it. I mean, I understand like a lot of like common phrases and stuff. Um, or look for a sanctuary. Let's look at sanctuary. Booyah. Merlin, not the pet we want. So the next one here. Mm. Another level, we'll get to level 80, and then we'll probably go back to folks in uh, Oliver. One more level, so. We'll have him to blue plus one very soon. Oh, nice. Another level. Oh, get you Artemis Souls and a Chosen. Ah, the guild's getting closer to beating it. Alright, uh, this looks like the, uh, where we're gonna end it today. Um, I thank you all for watching. Come join me for the next video. We'll see, see you again soon.